excitement in the last few games, but today it's totally just crumbled down. And they've got no front football, uh, definitely off the uh, lineouts at all. But on the other hand, Isipadana College have uh, haven't been the best as well, but they've got the points on the board, so that's what counts at the end of the game. Umalka Gunaratna breaking on the open side. Don't see that very often. Busting through three tackles there. Lovely run by the number eight again. Really, that something that you don't see very often. That uh, number eight's break on the open side and makes so much ground. Rahul are missing it, missing the tackle, and unfortunately for. Umarka Gunaratna, he didn't go to hand, the pass inside. Very, very strong boy, he's got a good unit on him, he's uh, very strong and he's very smart as well. So one guy that uh, Isipadana can use to close this game down. Today. Defensive line out now, they've gotten it wrong the whole day, let's see what St. Joseph's College can do. Another poor, poor, poor. And not straight called. Again. Another horribly crooked throw, I don't know why they keep going to the number four or number five jumper. They're going to the back of the line out. They need to go to the front of the line out. That's what I don't understand when things keep going wrong. They keep doing the same thing. They need to come to the front of the line out and make sure that they win that ball at number two. Even if it's untidy ball, they've got to win it. Exactly. I, I don't know what the coach probably would have said. Okay, go back to your number four. But you've got to be very sensible, Shanak. You can't always go to number four if it's not working for you. We take up some owners, take up some authority and say, okay, number two, let's do it. Not always go number four and do the same mistake over and over and over again. Surya Rachi now for Silva, the third row in this pick of it. That was Dilshan. Surya Rachi. Kongavat. Nice decoy run there. And uh, Silva gives it to his namesake. Silva, the fullback. First time he's had a bit of a run. Ball is available now through Surya Rachi. Good run there by the first receiver, but he loses the ball. St. Joseph's come away with it, and now they look to counter-attack. Got a couple of players on the ground, though. It's uh, out for numbers. And Kurumula Pitya puts the kick back, but uh, they are well back for it. Isipatana have responded to this brilliantly. Gal again gives it away to Surya Rachi. Kurumbula Pitya hacks it forward, but Ara Silva is back. Still the contest for the ball. And referee AC Tendakun says it's a knock on by Silva, which will bring uh, Josephs into an attacking position. Kurumbula Pitya taking a bit of a chance with two players down if they counter attack. Kurumbula Pitya would have thought, oh my god, what have I done? But lucky for him, they were good on defense. They're coming up very fast and getting the turnover and a chance for St. Joseph to get back into this game now. Player still down for St. Joseph's College. Someone down in back play will tell you who exactly who that is, but uh, it's the first time that uh, Joseph's have uh, actually shown some attacking intent in this half. 14 points to 3 here at uh, Longdon Place. Shanika, looking at the two sides, what have you uh, seen as a difference coming in after the first half? Well, St. Joseph's look like they want to be more aggressive, uh, Yitzhak. And if they can win a line-out ball, then that might help their cause. Uh, but Isipatana once again, seem to have gone into that bit of a shell. Uh, they're conceding too many penalties. That's something that they've got to somehow eliminate. But uh, they are also relying almost completely on Umalka Gunaratna to carry this ball forward for them. And uh, I don't think they need to put that much onus on him because the rest of their forwards are also very good. So they've got to be a bit more patient. But I don't see uh, them adopting to that game plan that they need to in these conditions. I think that's the lock for St. Joseph's College. Uh, Viraj Pereira, who's down the back there, just stood up finding it hard to walk, I think. Well, there's no way he can uh, make his way back into the team. This is off your screens uh, at home. Viraj Pereira looking very groggy indeed. Looks like he's had a concussion. So, uh, number 18 looks set to come on. That's Ishan Peters. Good to see some good burger names in the uh, Josephian lineup. Not very many in the Pete Wright lineup. That's the second concussion for the day, and Ishan coming on for his first start, first bit of uh, first 15 play for his, this youngster. He's got a chance to play next year as well, so good to see him coming in. Well, he'll add some fresh legs into the side. 
And also, it's a very in, uh, important scrum, uh, Yitzhak. Also, Shanag, in a championship side, you will see the bench very, very strong for Sipatana College. Uh, they've got a couple of uh, youngsters who are up and coming who are pretty good on their feet. Actually, Trinity looked a much stronger bench last week, but uh, Isipathan is still hanging on by the skin of their teeth. Having a look here at Dishan Ayaka on this side of the scrum, straightening nicely once he engaged and really making a mess of that. I think the referee has got to come over here onto the left uh, loose head side and have a look at whether the uh, number one is boring in, the number three who's playing in the number one position. So this scrum is vitally important for St. Joseph's. They've got to get some good ball from it. We might see a bit of a break now by uh, Suchinta, the acting skipper, the vice captain. And One thing that both number eights have been doing today, uh, Yitzhak, is uh, trying to channel the ball with their knees. And uh, that's really been okay for Umar Gunaratna, who's very strong in the lower body. But when you've got Sachinta, Suchinta, rather, who's uh, a little bit taller, I don't understand why he's got to go down his knee to channel the ball. He should be good enough to channel the ball with your feet. Solid scrum this time by St. Joseph's College. It's a good run by uh, Suchinta. But horrible counter rocking. Good tackle there on the touchline by the big man there, Stefan Gregory, showing some emotion. It's definitely seeing more aggression uh, by St. Joseph's College, but they've got to get more of the ball. If you have the ball more with you, you can score points. They're not really scoring points, but this is okay for the next 10 minutes. Probably get a bit more into the Isipadana 22. Well, there's really no point in showing emotion after you make a tackle, after you've lost the ball. Uh, it's like what they should have done there is uh, go with uh, Sujinta Udumalagala. The rest of his third row uh, players were completely missing there. And uh, there's no point in making a good cover tackle if you should have been in the ruck. Once again overthrown, but Udumalagala rescues it at the back. There's also a change at uh, Skama for St. Joseph's now. It's held up. Might be a scrum feed to Isipatana if this ball doesn't come out. But it looks like it is on the way out now. Sunit Chatura at the back of the scrum. Works it. That was a good, uh, good little attempt at a reverse pass. But just the execution going wrong. But uh, going wrong because Isipatana were up offside illegally. And that's again another one of those unnecessary concessions of penalties. We've got to go into the corner, St. Joseph's College. The big man getting up. Kunplapidia steps up to put it into touch. 40 meters out. A oh, beautiful kick there. Nicely down into the 22. And a chance for the first time for St. Joseph's College to try something out. They've had a torrid time uh, in the lineouts. Let's see whether they can secure this at number two. Probably bring it down. Try a rolling mall. If that doesn't work, work it out of the backs and try something. They've got to get some flair back in their play. Once again, it's still 14 points to three. The next strike and really decide this game. Stefan Gregory brought down nicely by Surya Arachi, hangs on to his bootlaces. But this is better from St. Joseph's. This is what they should have been doing all game. Pick and go there by the number five, Tariq, Tariq Sali. He's not been in the game much with the ball in hand. Now Sunet Chatra gives it to uh, Antonio. Not the fastest man in the world. But now they've got some space. Hasaru Gunawardana takes it in and they've got to control it now. This is the best attack for St. Joseph's of the whole game. Kurumbala Pitya. Tariq Sali. Sali gives it to Chatura. This is space on the outside. 
Slipping is Ramesh Priyanka, but they've still got the ball available. Now the forwards have got to hold on to it. Nice step by Antonio, but he's isolated. They've got to make it available, St. Joseph's. That's good play. Satura looks to switch sides, but he gets snaffled. Play on, says the referee. Still available now. Chatura to Kurumbala Pitya, inside ball. Nice inside ball, but they've got to get numbers to the breakdown. Advantage called. And referee Tanakun puts his arm up for a penalty. It's not a lot of time left, Yitzhak, so it's a tough call what to do. Do you take this penalty or not? I think there's enough time to make a comeback. If you take this, it's 14-6, which means that uh, a penalty or a, or a goal rather will get you within one point. Still got to score three times to win, so might as well go for the try when you've got momentum. But now, just like that scrum was vitally important, it's like this line out is also vitally important. Sanika, for me, this is the game right here. St. Joseph's have got to score a try or come back with some sort of points. Let's see what they make a call here. They've gone to the back. It's straight, so that's good enough. Stefan Gregory straightens it up. He's very slow into that uh, contact, but that doesn't matter as long as he gets the ball back. Chatura looking for it is Sali. Pustles it forward. Now he has Gregory again. Now building up ahead of steam, the Josephian pack is this one close. It's almost over. They've inches from the try line. Gregory puts his hands up. He thinks they've scored. But the referee says it's held up. It's a five meters scrum for St. Joseph's College. So another opportunity here for St. Joseph's College. And like you said, Shanaka, Isipadana College have gone into their shell and they're not doing much. Yes, I just don't understand why uh, they don't seem to be able to string those moves together when they're under pressure. It's uh, like they go into some sort of stupor after they've scored and don't realize that they've got to keep doing the same thing for the rest of the 80 minutes as well. But again, this crumb will become really important. This is where I said that Isipatana needs to improve their conditioning because when it comes to the last 15 minutes, they've got players going down all over the place and uh, that's something that uh, they've really got to work on because they don't have a huge amount of bench strength to bring on to replace guys like Gunaratna, Kongahawatta, etc. So they've got to make sure that they're fit enough to stay on the park. Sanika scrum right in the middle of the post as well. They can go either way. They got the two goal posts as a help as well if they want to go for a number eight break. So interesting to see what St. Joseph's College will do. But this is it. This is the game right here. If they can score, it'll be a big, big uh, last few minutes here at uh, London Place. Certainly will, and if I was uh, Udumala Gala, I'm going to run straight into that padding. The Joseph's crowd has finally woken up. Let's see whether they can get this ball to the back of the scrum without any incidents. One well by Udumala Gala. Udumala Gala goes. Silva has been very good at this all game. Brings him down nicely. Ishan Peters goes in. Now the ball goes to uh, Antonio. Antonio stepping. Still on his feet. He's got the ball back nicely. Still they have it through uh, the big man, Stefan Gregory. He's been uh, crucial. Chatura Kurumbala Piti at first receiver. Ball went back, says the referee. This is uh, Shaheen who stayed on the field. Kurumbala Piti now goes in after that ball. Gives it to Sali. Sali taking on a defender aggressively. That's good to see. Now they've got numbers on the outside. St. Joseph's. They look to move it. Good step by uh, Kurumula Pitya. Isipatana defending well. Coming away with it. But the rock was form, says the referee. They've got to either go for a short tap or a scrum here. They shouldn't be taking the line out. Got to go for a scrum, I think, or a short tap. And that's why I told you once again, we've got a player going down. 
That's, and that's a bit of uh, football uh, acting there. Sonic, you see that a lot at football. These are big boys. They shouldn't be falling down like that. Quick tap taken. This is uh, Chatura. Well, this time Aika has recovered from that cramp pretty quickly to get back and make the tackle. They've managed to hold the ball up. They might concede the scrum feed here, but uh, it goes down. And yes, indeed, they have. Good piece of work by the backs. Uh, for PC Patana College, they've been very strong throughout the day. Still a scrum if St. Joseph's can turn this ball over. It's going to be very interesting. But PC Patana College have to go back to basic play. Just clear it uh, to the fly half and just kick it and make a couple of yards here. It's been Got to really scrum like they've never scrummed before here. The Josephians, if they are to make an impact in this game Sonic for me St. Joseph's don't look like they know what they're really doing they don't have a cut, clear cut plan thinking okay this is what we're gonna do they're just playing it on on wheels we've got to see what they're gonna do strong some from St. Joseph's trying to turn that over but nevertheless broken goes for a bit of a gutsy run there and clears it though and St. Joseph's College have not put on any points good piece of play by Sipadana College that's well done by uh, the Patanians and that's where the defense really held out last week against and, uh, against Trinity as well. So it's good to see that it wasn't a flash in the pan. They are able to do this. But like you said, it's uh, St. Joseph's really not showing a lot of hunger in this game. And uh, that's really uh, the same hunger that they showed in the first five or six minutes. They haven't been able to replicate. Again, a horrible line out. But coming away with it is uh, Shahan Bopearachi. Nice uh, run onto the ball from Hasaru Gunawadana. Turnover there. Ishipatana stealing it though. Kurumbala Pitya summing up. The evening really for St. Joseph's. Quick throw there. They've just not been able to get there. Umarka Gunavatna now. Lovely pass inside to Silva, the try scorer. They've got to take it in. Udumalagala. Strong defense on him by this Anayaka, the prop forward. But not 10 meters. But he has to hurry up, not much time remaining him. They got to kick it straight out. And that's not the best of kicks by Kurumbula Pidia. Looking a little tired today. The vehicle with the number of PA4406 is making disturbance to all vehicles. So the special announcement is for the owner of that vehicle. Please be kind enough to take that vehicle away from there. Thank you. Oh, horrible throw again, but nevertheless recovered by the Josephian halfback there. Makes a couple of yards. There does Antonio's look ready. And that's another knock on by St. Joseph's College. And Shanaka, I believe that's the game. I think for St. Joseph's College, they don't have much time to do. Uh, come back and score two tries here. You see, Padana College have to slow the game down, probably kick for a little bit of territory. And then playing the Josephian half. Yes, there's no urgency at all from uh, the Josephians. It's really uh, an aggression and fitness issue, I think. They've not been able to match up. The energy that they expended in the first 20 minutes was pretty much all they had in their tank. Ball not uh, fed into the scrum properly. Touch up cramp, I think, for Stefan Gregory there. Gregory, he's uh, put in a good bit of work in the last 10 minutes or so. Unfortunately, St. Joseph's have not really used him as much as they should. Not used Tariq Sali either, a big, uh, powerful man.
lots of injury time left to play i think because you've had quite a few players going down from both teams according to my sources shanak a little bit over 10 minutes to go well um, that's interesting but the problem for san joseph he said they just haven't had a game plan to counter this rain they've not been able to just keep hitting the fringes which is what they should have been doing tying up the danger men like surya rachi like kumal gunarath they're making them contact or commit themselves into tackles yeah the flankers haven't been uh, having the best of days today they haven't been able to counter even the line the fly half has had a beautiful day today he hasn't had much he's just got tackled once i think in the second half but otherwise he's been peaceful he's been picking his spots to kick and working it uh, whenever he felt like so yes uh, st joseph's college haven't really had the mental strength or the tactical strength to counter isipatana's uh, advantage advantage there for isipatana goes with a little grubber there into space Rankut they chases that one but uh, Akila Pereira shepherds it into touch on the far side uh, touch line so into their own half goes on Josephs they've got it all to do now but one thing i must say uh, it's like is that Isipatana have got their extra man back to help out the back three and they've really played that first line second line defense of the kick extremely well today definitely uh, they've uh I think they've been more practical about the conditions here and uh, tactically much better than St Joseph's College. Another line out and another mistake there by the replacement hooker. The two hookers for St Joseph's College have had a bad bad day today. Punchi Heva comes into uh, the side for Isipatana in place of Jay Singh. Lovely pass by Umar Gunaratna and he has a try scorer. Silva inside to Rankot Gay. Rankot Gay gives it inside lovely bounce. Pasuria Chills scores. That's a lovely try again. Had a little bit of a luck of lucky bounce. But you can forgive him that because it really was an outstanding dream try. Umar Gunaratna creating that again with a lovely loopy pass and that Silva who's been so full of running today. Rankot Gay straightening it up. His pass found the floor but bounced nicely into the hands of Surya Rachi and there's absolutely no stopping him from there. Lovely uh, play by Sipadana College. Lovely flair there. The Joseph's College haven't been able to counter anything of the line of Sin by of Sipadana College and that's the game Shanaka even with about 10 minutes to go. Sipadana College showing why they are looking like a championship side. Absolutely. I think uh, last week was probably going to be their sternest test. So now with uh, the conversion to come and 19 points to 3 looks very comfortable they can relax and play some attacking rugby and once again uh, you saw he just see how that came out of nowhere absolutely nowhere isipathana weren't doing that for about 40 50 minutes in that entire match and suddenly they come out score a sparkle of a try and then go back into their shell so if you had a team that was able to exploit that long period of inactivity things would be different but somehow it seems to work for them absolutely i think it's a lot to do with the fitness levels they look much fitter than st joseph's college that's easily put over as well and now uh, isipadana college can uh, try out some of the things they've been trying at practices probably implement it in the game and have a bit of a good time here St Joseph's College well haven't really turned up today they were in the lead with 3 points but after that it's been all Isipatana College on the scoreboard scoring three tries and uh, St Joseph's College haven't had a reply to Isipatana College Kurubla Beria has another had good day he's been doing a lot on defense but not really getting front football and he'll kick off here So long kick off cleared by surya rachi and josephs now going through the motions really they know that they've uh, not got a chance to come back into this game they hadn't shown a lot of hunger earlier but now they're looking very much hands on hip yes yeah, anak if uh, they had a lot of hunger you would have seen that going quick ball and running back at the defense but nothing's really happening They, uh, they probably know yeah you're right they probably know that that's it's over they've got to uh, put a bit of uh, probably a try maybe just to show some respectability surya rachi reading that one nicely overthrown ball 
taken off the top uh, at the back rather by the scrum half and uh, now Columba Gay sets it up for Surya Rachi to spin it wide still going is the big number eight lovely offload but uh, doesn't go to hand scrappy play there no chance of anybody uh, doing anything there goes into touch another injury uh, for Isipadana College um, Shanaka putting you a bit on the spot here who is your man of the match uh, well it will be difficult to uh, go away from Umalka Gunaratna really the runs that he's created the defense that he's put in but for me to be very honest um, uh, Yitzhak the captain the number seven the uh, Silva has uh, really been outstanding in the line out he's been very good and also in making some of these defensive hits that have really taken the wind out of St. Joseph's sails. So for me, it's a toss-up between those two guys and I'm hard-pressed uh, who to pick. For St. Joseph's College, there hasn't been much to talk about. Uh, not really many people putting their hand up and saying, OK, I'm going to fight today. But uh, they've got to regroup and come back because they've got one more game remaining against uh, DS Senanaika. And uh, Isipatana College next week uh, will look to keep the unbeaten run got going and then uh, move into the next round of the competition yes that unbeaten tag is something that all schools covet even Dharmaraja unable to hang on to it for the, the whole of the season last year so it will be remarkable if a team manages to do it that's a great run fantastic run there by uh, the number 11 Ramesh Priyanka but good covering tackle on him Dumalagala really needed to straighten that a little bit more before he gave it to Priyanka. But nice to see some attacking play coming from St. Joseph's. Yes. It's gone missing for quite a while. They haven't been able to get uh, a try on the board in this entire game. So that just goes to show how bad they've been with the ball in hand. Yes, And uh, looking at the standings in this group, uh, definitely Sipadana going through Trinity College uh, second and uh, number three would be I think uh, between Westy College, St. Joseph's College and uh, DS Ananaika. And uh, yes, Westy College and uh, St. Joseph's looking like they're the two teams who can clinch the number four position. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see next week. If St. Joseph's College win, they go through. If Westy College win the next two games, they have against uh, Trinity College and uh, Ishipatana, they go through. So it'll be interesting to see next week's round of rugby will be very, very interesting for St. Joseph's College and uh, Westy College. Yes, indeed it will. And a lot depends, of course, on the result up in Candy between Trinity and Wesley. And if Wesley can pull off an upset there, that changes the equation for a lot of things. That's a good scrum by St. Joseph's. Just too little, too late for them. Coming away with it. Diving straight over the top is uh, Isipatana. Can't afford to hang around now. They've got to uh, do whatever they're doing and do it quickly. Once again, the big man, uh, the man, Mount, big man, Mountain uh, Stefan Gregory, down there on the deck, clutching his knee. Uh, probably fitness levels are not. The highest force in Jules College. Take a look at the scoreboard now. 19-3 in favor of Isipadana College. Three tries, two conversions, and uh, one penalty by Dulit Fernando for St. Joseph's College. Well, that tells the story really. Isipadana completely dominant. Not playing at their best, but playing much, much better than uh, their opposition today, St. Joseph's. Stefan Gregory looks like he's having a problem with that ankle doesn't want to be substituted but he's got to go off he's not going to do anyone any favors yeah he's got to think of next week's uh, crunch match against uh, DSN Anaika and the next round so he's got to be sensible here and go off he's very clearly got a problem with the ankle so yes he's finally conceded to going off and let's hope that ankle uh, gets some ice on it and is 
back in working order next week. But there, nicely won by Tariq Sali. Where was that line out all game? You have to ask yourself. And that's the Josephian Mall. Well constructed. Driving for the line. Are they over? Yes, they are. So finally, St. Joseph's College showing some promise in scoring. It's far too late, but they've scored their first try. Good uh, rolling, Mulder. So the big man goes out as replacement. Nice little line out there. Tariq Sali bringing it in. Taking it down and uh, scoring them. So one for the road there just to impose some respectability on the scoring board. Eight points for St. Joseph's College. Kulumbala Pedia will step up now to convert from the corner. Again, the line-out ball going awry. It's, I can see how much that's prevented John Joseph from using that tactic. And if they had used that tactic, it could have been a very different story entirely uh, for the Josephian team. But uh, despite being one of the best Josephian teams in recent times, they've just not been able to execute properly. Kurumbala Pedia poised. Kicks it way wide there. Probably very, very tired at this late stage of the game. Few more minutes to go here at uh, London Place. Isipadana College would be very, very disappointed with letting the uh, re kick there for coming up too fast. So Kurumbula Pedia gets another shot at putting two more points on the board. It's currently at 8 nil for St. Joseph's College against Isipadana College is 19. So we'll see a retake here. Doubt it'll make too much of a difference. Kurumbalapiria lines it up again, see whether he's learned from the previous attempt. And yes, not that much. Nishipat in a crowd. Very happy with the team's performance today. This is not a bad Josephian side, Yitzhak, and a 19 points to 8 victory is fairly comprehensive. Yeah, looking at only one positive I think St. Joseph's can take was that rolling mall try that they just scored. But besides from that, they haven't really done much. Knock on there by Kurumbula Birya once again. Yes, he's not had a good game today, to be very honest. Yeah, and you really don't see Kurumbala Pedia that ruffled and trying to shove people around. He's very calm and cool, uh, but you just saw a little bit of a nudge there. It just hasn't happened for St. Joseph's College today. Yes, he's not playing in the same relaxed fashion that he was last year. I think a lot of pressure on his shoulders, being one of the senior men now. Also tipped to be next year's keeper, so he's mm -hmm. got a lot of authority coming his way. He's got to learn how to deal with all the pressure that comes from being the Josephian skipper. Picked Madhura. up nicely on channel 1 by Umarka Gunaratna going the open side, still going. Such a strong boy, great lower body strength really. And this is Silva, always there, always ready to pick up the pieces, whether it be the line out or the breakdown or in defense. He's uh, really led from the front, the captain for Isipatana today. The ball from uh, Sunet Chatura. Sorry, that was... Uh, Maduranga, in fact, uh, who is at the back of the scrum for Ishipatana. Now that's him, Maduranga, trying to snipe his way over. Falling all over the ball is um, Vimukshan. Yes, that's a good call from referee AC Tendakun. He has been good today in difficult circumstances. And that's over. That's the fourth try for Ishipatana. And a deserved one at that. St. Joseph's have not deserved anything more from this game. 
And it's a great try, a second one actually for Umal Kagunaratna. In fact, no, it's his first try of the evening, but he's created so many. He deserves that try, Shanake. He's been running throughout the day. He's been picking up everything. You can see that little run there. Nice body position there, taking him all the way to the line. So, good try for this youngster who's going to definitely be the star of the future of uh, Isipadana Rugby because he can play next year as well. Well, at the moment, it's like I know it's, it's a lot to say at the moment, but he's looking better than Bilal Hassan did in 2008. He's got better body position. He's got uh, better offloading skills, he's got a better defense, and he's got a good all-round game. And I think this guy could really be someone uh, that Sri Lanka rugby needs to take care of. Conversion now uh, will be taken by the by the stump, by the halfback Surya Arachi now. Last few moments of the game now. 24 points on the board for Isi Padra College. Looking to make it 26. Just past the left upright. So 24 towards 8 remains uh, the scoreboard. And a few more kicks and a few more tackles to go. And that will be the end of the game. Isi Padra College running out deserved winners. Definitely, it's, I think we can safely call it. Uh, they're ringing some changes. Now change at hooker. Number 16 coming on for Isi Padra College. They start. This was the culprit really last week with uh, so many lineouts going a begging. But the change with Columbia coming in there has made a huge difference. A horrible restart there by Kurumbala Pedia. Not even going 10 meters. Yeah, that's uh, been the story of his evening really. He started off the second half also with a kick like that. And when you're not able to do your basic requirements right your core skills to get them right and that's going to affect you through the rest of the game your confidence goes and that's exactly what's happened uh, to Kurumbala Pitya and uh, through him the entire team another change comes in at prop this time um, DAR Pereira will walk in what I also like about uh, this boy Gunaratna Itzak is uh, the fact that he's got a lot of composure he uh, doesn't throw his arms about his Never want to get into, uh, you know, fisticuffs with the opposition. He's very cool, calm and confident. He just goes out there and does what he's been told. Just does the job and adds a lot of sensible play to his uh, game. He's a pretty good player and one for the future, definitely, Shanako. Referee asking for a reset there. It's a few uh, new faces in the front row for both teams. So obviously, there's going to be a few problems. Number one, Praveen has come on for St. Joseph's as well. Um, Shanika, what's your take on these scrums? It takes a lot of time for them to get set and reset. So, what's your take on the scrum? Well, it's a similar problem even in international rugby. And as we see, if you hear on our mics, if you can hear the crowd here, that's the applause for Silva coming off the captain. He's had an outstanding game today, I think. But with that try, I think Umalka Gunaratna cementing his place as man of the match. Peters gives the ball to uh, Dulit Fernando. It's a nice break by Rahula. Now Josephs through Dumalagala. Looking to put that ball behind this Josephian line. Bope Arachi takes it forward. Now a little more urgency from St. Josephs. Looking for Kurumbala Pitya. Hasaru. Asura Gunawadana goes to ground. Great aggression at the breakdown by Isipatana. Rock back in the tackle is Chamikara. That's another good uh, short ball to Udumalagala. Good continuity from St. Joseph's here. Ball knocked forward, so it will come back for a scrum. No, in fact, it's a penalty. Sali banged back in the tackle. That was uh, Himaruan who hit Sali pretty hard. Hitting the ball out of the hands of the halfback. That's uh, re the referee's call for that penalty. Hasuru Gunawadana has made a couple of good runs in the last few minutes. 
They've lifted him off the ground here. Got to bring him back down safely. And that's really just toying with this Josephian side. And the penalty comes back, or the scrum rather, comes back for the ball being held up. So that really shows the dominance of the Sisipathana team. Uh, it's a, that's very that's embarrassing. Absolutely. That is just not on. You should have gone with a lower body position then he wouldn't have been lifted up but nevertheless about four or five is a boy is coming and just embarrassing the daylights out of the second center of st joseph's college uh, definitely definitely shana showing dominance there and uh, worthy winners uh, 24 8 here a couple of minutes to go now and yeah definitely being a class apart from uh, st joseph's college because they haven't let st joseph's college do anything today we've just seen probably one or maybe two attacks and that's about it and that's a sign of a championship side. They're brilliant at attack, but they're also good in defense. Yes, they have been very good. And uh, we saw it last week against Trinity, really defending the onslaught that those uh, big Trinity forwards unleashed on them. Ball cleared uh, into touch desperately there, but that's pretty much the end of the game. Referee says uh, that it's a penalty. No, he says we'll play the line out. Heard a long whistle there. Sanika, looking at St. Joseph's College, they've got to work a lot on their lineouts and probably their fitness. But for Isipadana College, maybe a little bit on the focus side. That's about it. Otherwise, it's uh, been pretty okay for them today. Uh, yes, they've got to uh, not play the game in patches. They've got to play a full 80 minutes and play it intensely. And uh, that's what's going to make the difference between them just beating sides and absolutely hammering sides off the park. So I think this is a team that is capable of actually hammering sides. So let's wait and see how uh, they respond. They've gotten better from last week, which is a sign of a good team. And they can just keep getting better. It's 24-8 to Isipatana in this Singer Rugby A Division League here at Longdon Place in absolutely wet conditions. Isipatana coming in and scoring four tries. An outstanding performance from the third row boys. The skipper Silva and Umalka Gunaratna. In addition to that, the outside backs performing really well too. But St. Joseph's uh, just having one of those days. Not really been uh, a game that they will want to go back and watch a replay of. They're a better side than the scoreboard suggests. But that's pretty much uh, what the scoreboard uh, tells at the end of the 80 minutes of rugby. It's, uh, it's been a very good performance by Isipatana setting themselves up to be league champions. But Joseph's really need to improve for next week. Uh, definitely, St. Joseph's College have DS and Anayaka next week, and that's going to be a crunch match. If they win that match, they'll be able to probably uh, stay in this division and in the competition. But yes, uh, they've not done really much today. Just Dulit Fernando with the conversion, and uh, then a solitary try of good move of a line out. The line outs is some uh, area that St. Joseph's College have to improve on. But uh, that's basically it from uh, London Place. This is uh, Yitzhak De Silva. And I'm Shana Kamara Singer signing off for the Papare.com. Until our next live uh, match, which is tomorrow, sharing the passion.